women still struggle to gain national reputation in the fields of art and design. The women who are honored through Visionary Woman Awards deserve it because they are really the culmination of what it is that we are teaching here. They become the role models for our students. Meg Seligman was a trailblazer. She recognized that as a fine artist, she also had the possibility, the opportunity, to influence others by working in the community. She was ahead of her time in working with the community to bring people together to create art, and as the artist, help them realize their own artistic vision whilst, while addressing community issues. That is quite an unusual and special gift to have. I had always loved painting large. I love people. I love being outside. A scaffold is a giant jungle gym for adults. So truly, it was everything I loved. I just feel so lucky to be able to do what I love as a profession. I think my purest moment of bliss is, you know, up at the top of the scaffolding, mixed and lugged all your paints up, and you've got your grid all laid out, and you can just take your gallons of paint and start slopping it around. And then you could, at the end of the day, you stop and you look over perhaps a city you're visiting, and you're thinking, wow, like how lucky am I to be up here? Sometimes I say my media that I use is paint, light, glass, buildings, and people. I love to see what happens when you bring an idea to a collective group. So the content of my work is coming from, the first thing we do is seek and call from people. My role is the vessel with a vision. I have to be able to hold a lot that comes to me, but I have had the supreme good fortune to have worked with some of the most inspired artists. It's just, it would be impossible to say I for 99% of the work that comes out of this studio. I think that there's great power when people gather together to make something with their hands. I believe in that. All my work, when you look at it, anything that you see in the work will be from the site, the surrounding environment. That's really important to me. Uh, I feel there's an authenticity and a content there that I'm very interested in. Having your work so out there, so publicly, it's a huge risk, right? As a public artist, you have to accept that risk and take the good with the bad. You also have to believe in what you do. If you believe so strongly in the process as well, I think that helps you endure. Perseverance is probably one of the key ingredients. I am willing to do stuff that I don't like to do to further the art. And I've had to learn stuff that I'm not really good at. Like I suck at, you put a spreadsheet in front of me, I don't freaking get it. Or yeah, a budget, a spreadsheet, um, ugh. I, I, but I'm, I had to get good at it or I wasn't, my art was not gonna grow. So I think when it comes to the point you realize I'm not going forward, then you gotta step up the stuff you don't like. The first mural story got a commission in my hometown to paint on, on a big restaurant in our hometown, a mural in the lobby. So I was about a third of the way through painting it and uh, the architect came in, the architect who was renovating the building, hated it, hated it, hated it, and screamed, and they painted it out. Nobody even told me when I came into work the next day what I had started and just been painting out, and I was devastated. But you know, if I had accepted that as the end of my story and had never tried again, it would have been the end of my story. So don't ever stop.